Let's take a look at a couple of examples. As I said, we give you these quick view charts. There's over 50 of them here and an unlimited number of customized views here that you can have. Uh, you can get things like uh, user inactivity and inactivity. This is when they sign in and sign out. What your users are searching for on the internet and who's doing that searching. Uh, who's using webmail because you probably banned that and that's a way for people to get uh, around your uh, uh, policies on that. This top one's interesting. This is bandwidth use. We see this one user, Kay Johnson, using far more bandwidth than everyone else. <coughs> Sets off an alarm. We want to see what's happening. I simply double click on that user. This loads our summary view of our sample data here. You see most of the abuse occurred here on Tuesday, so I'm going to load all of my events. This gives me a lot of rich data at the time the computer they were on, the application they were using, even the port number and the IP address. But if I need additional information, I simply go to event snapshots, and that shows me in an instant that indeed they were streaming internet radio. From here, I can click on go. This will show me everything that they were doing during that day. As you can see, we're actually uh, on a lot of sports sites. This user is on ESPN, he's on Yahoo Sports. Our web filter didn't ban this. We're not precluding our users from doing this, but that's the key between our software, monitoring software, and web filtering software. We work with web filtering. We hope we're, you're using web filtering. Heck, we include some web filtering in our software anyway. But web filtering is simply not the complete solution. You need both ends of it. Because this user is abusing allowed applications. He's wasting time. By the way, if you can recapture just 10 minutes a day of a user's personal internet use, and by the way, Gartner says we're wasting an hour a day on personal web surfing. If you can capture just 10 minutes of that, that equates to a full work week per employee. Multiply that by the number of 10 minutes that your employees are wasting. You can generate an ROI for your company almost immediately with this software. Let's get out of this view, take a look at a couple other things here. By the way, I've had a user say that this is better than, uh, than TV. You know, he's, it's TiVo for his employees. He just loves it. So let's take a look at a couple more examples. That's our quick view. We also have a data explorer. This takes the individual recordings, uh, uh, maybe it's the individual file transfers or the individual websites and puts that into a thing. But as Jim mentioned, we do keyword alerts. So we go into keyword alerts, and this is what a school will definitely use. We, we suggest everyone use keyword alerts because this will show you, you set these keyword alerts on, on uh, confidential or proxy or whatever you want, and this will tell you who's abusing those keyword alerts. So we see S. Dozer here. Uh, we load the events for him. Uh, we see the keyword alert is actually the word confidential. We certainly want to check that out. So I'm going to go to the event snapshots once again. Our software monitors multiple screens. And we, hear, we see that they're uh, using Yahoo Mail. Uh, we don't allow them to use internet mail, but there they are. They're actually copying confidential files. They're putting them into an email and sending them off to someone. I think we have a problem. And I think we just detected it. Data loss detection. That is Spectrosoft 360. Productivity, data loss protection and detection and uh, user investigations. This is our user explorer. If you get uh, Spectre Pro, which is used for kids or very small organizations, or our Spectre CNE investigator, this is the screen you get. And here's where you can dig into the specific activities of a single user. And now you'll get a screen like this. This is the one that comes with Pro or CNE. And you'll see every website they visited, every email, chat, all their programs, everything they search for, all in one single screen so you can investigate that if a manager comes at you and says that they have problems. All of these quick view charts can be turned into reports. We saw a sample of those earlier in the slideshow. You can automatically set those up to be sent to specific managers, IT, whoever you want. They can automatically be generated and emailed every week. You just look like the hero because you're delivering those on time every week. Search. We have a search utility within our software. So for example, we want to search for every instance of proxy or confidential or maybe a competitor's name. We simply go in there and search. And we're going to actually highlight every time we found that uh, on here. So you'll be able to go in there and find out if users are circumventing your web filters by using proxy servers or one of a 100 different ways to do it. 
Our management console, you can add uh, different people to here. So if we want to allow more people to view more people, uh, we can add them here. We're on the internet filtering right now. You can go in here and create internet filtering uh, groups and rules. You can filter a user based on uh, specific sites, even time. Maybe that guy who is searching sports sites, he does that every Monday so he can follow his fantasy football team. But if we allow him to do that before work and after work, but not during work, maybe we can turn him productive and still keep him with the ability of updating his fantasy football team and, and that kind of thing. That Spectre Pro would come with 24-7 technical support. Uh, our ultimate care program gives you unlimited support for the first year. That's 24-7. All of the updates, we're constantly updating our software uh, because obviously, you know, there's, there's new tools out there, new Web 2.0 applications, MySpace, Bebo, Facebook, Twitter, all the latest ones that we need to monitor. We're always, uh, our programmers are always there. If somebody can detect us using some spyware, we're, we're raced to uh, figure out a way around that. So you'll want to stay with our ultimate care concept so that you'll always have the latest upgrades of our software. As Jim mentioned, we do have evaluation software uh, that you can try. By stopping by the booth, you can uh, sign up for that. We also have webinars. We do webinars throughout the week uh, on Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. They're 2 o'clock Eastern time, but we can schedule one for your organization to make sure that we're addressing your specific needs and questions. And it's more of a technical, deep uh, deep dig in our software that will show you exactly uh, what you're going to need to see. It's a quick and easy setup. You set it up uh, on each individual PC by configuring it, pushing it out to those users, and you're now recording. Moments later, you're, uh, you're getting actual live data because we record for about four minutes on the individual PC. And we copy it up to that SQL database to give you these unlimited dashboard views. Even though I'm not on the network now, this PC is recording. When I go back to the office, plug in, it's going to pull that data up and uh, put it into that database. So if you have uh, users that take their PCs at home, you're still able to maintain that acceptable use policy and still keep a modicum of control on what employees are doing with your computers. And that's the key. It's absolutely legal. It's absolutely permitted. And it should be used because it's your computers. So you got the web filtering, <clears throat> which gives the prevention of bad sites. You've got the monitoring, which shows you how people are using or abusing their sites. And in the middle is the deterrence. And that's what our software does. It keeps your employees, keeps your users working, working hard, and being as productive as they can in, a, in what is at least a rough economy. Thank you very much. Does, any questions? Yeah. Uh, does this software work on Macintosh computers? Uh, the question is about Macintosh. We do have a version of our software that does work on Macintosh. We just released Spectre Pro for Mac. Uh, just a couple weeks ago. That data currently does not integrate in this dashboard that is on our roadmap. Hopefully that will occur fairly soon, uh, but it does. we do have some robust Macintosh recording. You could literally put it on your Macintosh PCs and, and the design department, and then from a Windows-based PC, you can run our viewer and actually look at those users one at a time, as we were talking about earlier with that user explorer. You can drill right down and see what they're doing, their web history, keystrokes, uh, all that. The, the, another question is, um, how much storage capacity do you need? That's a good question store about the storage, storage capacity. Uh, we estimate using our default installation, you're going to use about 15 megabytes per user per day. Is that a trade show last week? Four terabytes for nine, nine ninety-nine. So uh, storage isn't that much. By the way, 13 megabytes of that 15 megabytes are the screen snapshots. Now you can do a bunch of things if you need to reduce that one. You set aside a gigabyte or a couple, and then when that's full, the first information that was in is the first information that's out. You can use it on our keyword alerts. You could set it up so that the, the recordings only occur when somebody does a keyword alert. So we start recording that. You can also set it up uh, uh, so that it's certainly in black and white and it's uh, snapping less frequently. So there's ways around that storage capacity also. But 15 megabytes in today's day and age isn't that much. Thanks for the yeah, call. Uh, what about remote users or off-site users? Yeah, remote users or off-site users. Um, our software, one of the, the our new version of the software, uh, has added additional functionality so that you can tunnel in. 
you always could tunnel in through a VPN if they connect to your organization through a VPN. We're going to copy that information. We're going to uh, get that from them. But we've now made it easier to do just over a simple internet connection. So you'll be able to get that information uh, and you'll be able to keep your remote users or your remote locations as productive as the main location because it's all going to be there in a central database and you're going to be able to peer into that. And again, if I'm a user like I am and I leave for a week like I am this week, I'm still recording that information. When I go back to the office, I plug into the network it, it takes that information and puts it on our, uh, into our SQL database. Great. Thanks again. Make sure you stop by our booth. We're going to give you some additional information, sign you up, uh, and uh, we look forward to seeing you on one of our webinars. Thank you very much.